Today, we're gonna to talk about tool maintenance, and this is a series I wanna start where we talk about how to not only maintain our tools and keep them square and working well, but also how to tune them up if we buy a tool used and make sure that nothing is either unsafe or just not working properly before we start it up. So today, I wanna to talk about how to tune up your table saw, and this is something you should be doing regularly. Some of these things like alignment processes and that kind of thing, you wanna check, but you don't need to do all the time, especially if you know, you've got things locked down tight. But if you have like a job site saw or a contractor saw that's getting moved around a lot, this is something you wanna check regularly. So today when it comes to talking about the table saw, uh, we're gonna do a few things. We're going to clean and oil it, and when you're oiling it, you wanna make sure you're using a drying lubricant. You don't want something like three-in-one oil that's always gonna be wet. You want something that dries so that way sawdust doesn't stick to it. Uh, we're going to align the blade and that includes things like the arbor and the motor. It's gonna be important that you have your table saws owner's manual. Uh, this is something that can easily be found online. All owner's manuals are online. So if you don't have it, just look it up, look up your, part num your model number and you can just get it from anywhere. Um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about the saw alignment, making sure that the saw is square to the miter slots, to the fence. We're gonna talk about how to adjust your fence and your miter gauge. And we're gonna go through it in a way that is uh, digestible for anybody. Some tools that'll really help you. You definitely need a 12 inch combo square. Um, feeler gauges are great. They really, really help to tell how much your table saw is off. If you have a test indicator, these are great, but not necessary. They're, they're uh, you can get, I think I got this one on Amazon with the stand for 30 bucks. I'll link it below. Uh, some fine grit sandpaper, steel wool, some paste wax, uh, you know, random cleaning supplies. Sometimes tape can help you if you need to shim anything, as well as the tools that will help take apart the hardware on your table saw. Uh, so let's get started by cleaning our table saw and oiling it. Typically the oil points are in your manual if there's anything special you need to oil, but you wanna make sure you go ahead and oil any moving parts uh, and make sure everything's nice and clean both in the cabinet and above. Okay, so now that we've got everything cleaned up and oiled, it is now time to do the most important part of that, which is making sure that our blade is aligned to the miter slots, AKA the table. Now, the way that I do this, and you could, uh, if, you have a, if you have a test indicator that you can slide in the miter slot accurately, this is a great way to do it. If not, the easiest way to do it is with a combination square. And so what you do is you can take either one of your miter slots and you pick a tooth. I like to pick one that is facing towards me. I'll just give that a little mark so I can keep track of it. And I set my miter gauge so that it's just scraping by it. And you can hear it there, I'll put my mic close. Just like that. And then you take that same tooth to the back and you can see, oh man. So I'm off by a little bit here. And if you wanted to measure how much that was, you could switch miter slots and do it so that it was in the negative way. And you could use your feeler gauges to figure out how far you need to move your table. But for me, I just have some bolts to loosen. And here's just a little tip for you when you're aligning this. Don't loosen all the bolts, just loosen three of them and you'll use a mallet, a rubber mallet or a dead blow mallet to just tap the table over. So we're gonna go ahead and get that aligned. Take your time with this. It is the absolute most important part. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but don't forget to unplug your table saw. That's a really important part about doing any sort of maintenance where your hand is touching the blade. Make sure your table saw is unplugged. Okay, we've got our blade aligned. Uh, it was a little tricky to get to some of those bolts, but we've got it taken care of. And so now we wanna make sure to check and make sure that our blade is square and that the tilt stops are exactly at 45 and 90 degrees. So again, same basic way as you do that. Uh, you look in your owner's manual, find out where the tilt stops are. You can use your, your combination square and check it. And you wanna make sure you're checking not aligned with the tooth. So if you see where my square is, if you were aligned with a tooth, it would look like it was off. And so you wanna go right in between the teeth and make sure you can make sure your blade's clean and that you're going right in between the teeth and you wanna have no daylight in there when you're at your stop. And mine is perfect, so I'm not gonna to have to adjust it, but go in your manual, there's little nuts on 
your adjustment wheel where there's gonna be tilt stops and you can just adjust those until you get those right. Now your 45 degree is much the same. You can tilt your blade until you hit the 45 degree stop and then using your combo square with the ruler removed, you can check and make sure that, the, and that is dead perfect. Now again, you wanna make sure that you're not hitting your teeth. And you also wanna make sure that your throat plate is dead flat. If your throat plate's not flat, they all usually have these little adjustment screws either above or below where you can raise and lower them and get this flat, but there we go, that's dead on. Dead N-U-T-S as they say, baby. Lastly, as far as adjustments go, we wanna check our fence. Now, some people will cant their fence out this way by like a couple thou, a thou, because the thought process is that it's only making contact on the front of the blade here, and that's so you'll always get a square cut, even though the fence is slightly out by about a thou, uh, and that reduces the risk of a board getting pinched and shooting back. One thing you don't wanna have it though is this way. Now, most fences are gonna have just a couple adjustments on it, and that is square this way, and those are gonna be on my saw, those will be these white nuts here, and then also this way and this way, which will be these black nuts here, um, which adjust the fence this way and that way. So the way that we do this two ways, just like we did the blade, we're gonna use our combination square, and you probably wanna use the same miter slot that you used for checking the blade, just because then you're referencing off the same thing that you referenced your blade off of. And I'm just gonna take it and adjust my fence to it, tighten my square, and there we go. And then I'm gonna put it at the back of the fence and do the same thing. And make sure there's no gap here on my miter gauge. And it looks like we are good to go, but if not, you can use those adjustment screws to adjust it. Here's another way that you can do it. You can use a test indicator, and I just like to put it on my combo square. Make sure if you're doing this that your combo square is flat on the table when you zero it out, just because that's the way you're gonna slide it. And I'll just zero it out and make sure, yep, we're slightly negative, positive, zero. So we are canted in about a hundredth, and which is a very small amount, but I'm gonna go ahead and move that just slightly this way uh, by adjusting my screws. Okay, so now that everything's adjusted, our table is looking good, we're gonna just do a little top maintenance. Now what I like to use is a little bit of water with some white distilled vinegar in it. That just gets rid of any rust spots you may have, especially for a cast iron top. I'm gonna use 1200 grit sandpaper. You could use steel wool or very high grit sandpaper. Uh, you could use any sort of lubricant. If you like to use oil with your wet dry sandpaper, go for it. Uh, but I like to use vinegar and water and I just use a light amount, just enough to lubricate the sandpaper and get rid of just just any small rust spots. When we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and give this a coat of clear paste wax. Okay, and then the last couple things you could do is adjust your miter gauge. Simply, I'm just simply using my square. And you just loosen it up and check the stops on there, just like that, and set the set screws. Um, you could check the tension on the belt of your saw that connects to the motor. You do not want to have more than, I believe it's a, about a quarter inch of play in that when you press on it when it's under tension, so you could check that as well. But other than that, our table saw is tip top and we know that next time we go to use it, it's gonna just perform the best that it can be. So guys, I look forward to bringing you more of this series where we tune up our tools and bring them to their peak performance. So let me know down in the comments what tools you'd like to see me tune up next. Thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop, guys, and have a wonderful day.